everybody. I am Latreviette. I am here to do a general reading for the collective audience and I am going to do what's the tea today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber to my channel, welcome back. Thank you for your support. Thank you for rocking with a sister. So I am going to light this again. I just lit it and it goes out so very quickly. Um, this is Palo Santo, just to clear the energy. And while I do that, I will go over my disclaimer. So my disclaimer is to let people know that I am a holistic health practitioner, but I am not a licensed medical professional, nor am I a licensed therapist, okay? So any energy that comes through these readings that deal with health and wellness, mental health, uh, crime, just know that it's the energy that I feel, that I see, that I hear, um, that's coming through the message. So if you are indeed having issues in those areas, uh, please seek your licensed medical professional. Please seek your legal people and your local PD. All right, let's get started. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go with the Kipper. I've been using this for the tea and I quite like it. I like this deck. This is the Kipper-ish by Intuitive Kev. He is on YouTube, so give that brother a look-see. If you're interested in his deck, this deck uh, by Intuitive Kev is on Etsy. All right. What up, Kev? First card out. It's community in reverse. All right. Community in reverse. Second card out is change. Okay. We do about three more cards, and then I'll get the clarifiers. Thief. Yeah, manipul <coughs> excuse me. Manipulation in reverse. One more. You have concern in reverse. So let's just get some clarifiers and start with community. So community in reverse is, is letting me know that uh, community has left the building. You have travel. Perhaps the community has left in his own travel on a holiday. We shall see. You have hello. So someone wants to come and communicate, I believe. So let me just make sure. Yep, communicate. So someone <clears throat> left the community. They may want to travel. They want to communicate with you, collective. You have real love in reverse. Let's get two more clarifiers on this community. You have the Ice Queen. The Ice Queen is also known as the Queen of Swords. You have Awakening. So someone's going through Awakening. Could be the... Uh, The Ice Queen, Queen of Swords. She's waking up to 
what she thought might have been real love that may not be that that wasn't real love to her um <clears throat> But you could have someone who left the community, who's traveling to this ice queen, who wants to communicate something. This is a male, so um, take the genders as they resonate to you. But yeah. <clears throat> so there's a, there's a feminine energy. Uh, queen of Swords is usually... Uh, she is a, a woman of wit uh sharp tongue uh not not in a bad way when it's in the upright sharp tongue um again wit like she can go toe to toe with you in the argument intelligent woman um she might be going awakening to this relationship that she was in was not really the real love that she thought it was and uh perhaps this person that she thought she was in love with or uh, might have been in love with was part of a community that um, he left he or she they them and uh, this person's on travel this person's traveling to her uh, could be traveling state to state or a person could be out of the country but this person wants to travel to this ice queen and communicate with her could be communicating about her awakening you know um, she's going through awakening that's letting her that's leveling her up spiritually Boop. change so in this picture change depicts changing clothes Okay. Change could be anything. Change could be a situation is changing. So someone's in their north node. If they were in their south node, they are changing to their north node. North node is, is like uh, ascension. You are on the, the good side of things. You are uh, connecting with spirit. You are communing you know, with nature, that sort of thing, you are on your path. You are on your, uh, your purpose. You're, you're moving into that arena, North Node. So someone is, is, could be changing into their North Node, but let's see. Yeah, family in reverse. Family could be siblings, mother, father, could be the father of your children, the mother of your children, family. It's in reverse. You have pathway in reverse. You have too many cards here. You got endings in reverse. You got healer in reverse, and you got protection. I'm gonna put them back. You got third party in reverse. I'm gonna put them back. If they were meant to be, they will come back out. So, so far we have change, north node, family in reverse, and pathway in reverse. Let's get two more. Healer. I told you, if it comes back out, it was meant to be. So you have healer in the upright. And you have blocked in the reverse. that I'm getting from this is that uh, someone left their family they made a change and left their family they weren't on their pathway 
get back here. Um, They may have not been on their pathway when they were with their family. I think there's a, um, doesn't say what gender, but someone on their North Node left their family. They weren't on the path. Um, they are a healer. Um, If they were blocked before, they're not blocked now from the healing journey. They, they want to make a change. They want to make a change to their north node to be, to ascend. So they left their family. Or if this was that, they were never their family or, you know people they, they consider family. Sometimes you call people who are not your blood family. They weren't on their path. Maybe they got healed and became a healer and left their family to get on their path because they're not on the path staying in this family. Maybe they were blocked before from this healing path which is why they left the family, but they're not now. I mean, they're, they're, there's no blocks now for them to be on their north node and make changes. Next card is Thief. Health concern. So you have a mature woman in the reverse. We have the opposition. get two more. You have ritual. Let's get one more. Love offer. So you have a mature woman here. Um, she's in the reverse. So in the upright... The mature woman uh, is someone, uh, what's the word, uh, older woman in the community, community. She could be the uh, elder in the family, elder in the community where people uh, go and talk to and get advice and confidant. Um, she could be respected in, you know, the churches and, and, and things like that. In the reverse, um, she lost community respect. She's not the uh, pillar of the community that people thought she was. And um, she's a thief who is ill or has concerns about being ill. Probably because she was doing rituals. Trying to either get a love offer. She became your ox, people. So you have a mature lady out here who's trying to um, steal. So she could be doing rituals to steal a love offer so that you don't get the love offer. <coughs> and by mature lady, she could just be older. She doesn't have to be like elderly. She could be. She could be somebody's grandmother. Sorry about that. So she's trying to do rituals, either to gain a love offer or to steal a love offer from you so that you don't get it. 
but she is your ops. She is doing um, virtual, but she is sick. She has some health issues. Manipulation in the reverse. Star seed in the reverse. Divine Feminine in the reverse. Ice King. Priestess in reverse. So you got three feminines out here, three feminines in the reverse. It could be three different people. It could be all the same person. One more. So abuse in reverse. So again, you can have three different females here. The ice king is the uh, king of swords. He's a boss man, he's a father figure. Um, also sharp with the tongue. Authoritarian type man. If he was dealing with three different women, these women pretended to be the priestess, the high priestess, the divine feminine, and a star seed. They're all in the reverse, so they're not the high priestess. They are not the Divine Feminine, and they are not uh, Starseed. If there was abuse and manipulation going on, either the manipulation didn't work on this King of Swords, Or they stop trying to manipulate him. Or he stopped trying to manipulate them. He could have been in cahoots with them, pretending that they were the high priestess, the divine feminine, and the star seeds, or trying to get them to pretend. And uh, the abuse and manipulation no longer works on them to pretend to do these things. Take how it resonates. The last column we have is concern. Someone's thoughts. You have legal. You have child in the reverse. Let's get two more. Confusion and illusion in reverse. So you have occupation in reverse. And expectations in reverse. I'm going to take them both. So someone lost a job. Got some legal matters. If they weren't concerned before, they're in their thoughts about it now. You have child in the reverse. So this could be a, a literal child or it could also be um, someone's innocence. In, in the upright, child could be someone's innocence. It's in the reverse. So if someone was confused about something, they're not anymore, um, which could have cost them their job. 
some legal matters involved. It could be legal matters with someone's child. Someone could have found out that legally the child is not theirs, which is also why it could be in reverse. If they had concerns about it before, they do not have concerns now, probably because legal stepped in, let them know what's going on. Let's get another deck to continue with our tea. Ah, so we're going to get actual tea tea. I just kicked over all these decks. Hope everyone's having a great afternoon today. Happy hump day. Almost through the week. So first card out is stalker. Someone's out here stalking. Watching, obsessed. They could be stalking you online and offline. Check your bushes, people. Be diligent anyways. Um, you know... Pay attention to the cars around your neighborhood, around your home. Pay attention when you go shopping. And it's not to put fear in anyone's mind so that you are aware of your surroundings. Too busy winning. So somebody's not concerned because they're too busy winning. Not paying attention to the stalker. You have travel. We have that in the other cards. So, so somebody is definitely traveling to you, collective. They want to communicate. Tired of stalking. <laughs> tired of hiding in the bushes. They want to come travel to you. Tired of, tired of stalking you online. They want to come to you and see you in person. You have fake accounts. What did I just say? Somebody's tired of stalking you online they want to come see you in person somebody created fake accounts go through your social media do you know those people do you have a lot of uh followers subscribers or whatever you may not know who's who but somebody is stalking you online check in your comments Seeing who's talking to you, who's liking your post and things like that. Probably telling people don't follow you, don't do business. Telling people lies that you're a shady person. You do shady business or whatever. Whoever it is though, they want you back. Which makes no sense to me. Why? Why? Talk trash about somebody you want to get back with. Make it make sense. Fake smiles. Go with these fake accounts. They're not really your friends. They're only out looking to see what you're doing, who you're doing it with, where you're going, who you're going with. Fake smiles. Talk about you behind your back with a smile on your face. They got love on the brain, though. Fantasizing about you. Dreaming, daydreaming. Nostalgia, thinking about the past. They want you back. Collective, you gonna take them back? But you're unbothered. Just because you're too busy what? Winning. You are too busy winning. You're unbothered. And that's how you should be. You don't have time for that. Because you are a queen rising. Stepping into your power. Coming into the spotlight. So keep doing what you're doing. You're too busy winning. You're unbothered and unfazed because you are rising to the top. All you do is win, win, win. So I said it in the, the other, in this column here. I said that um, 
the child in reverse could be uh, not someone's child. Got legal services here. Sorry, child protective services. Kids at risk of being taken. So the child in reverse could have been removed from the home, as I stated, because there was legal, legal uh, in the matter. Someone could have reported you and have to have your child taken, removed from your home. You have caught a case. So someone has cooties. It says uh, SEX infection or SEX disease. Someone is either being rejected or feels rejected. Could be because they caught a case. Strap up, people. Wear your raincoats. Make fellows wear the raincoats, ladies. People out here purposely giving cooties. So you have threatening. Somebody's trying to intimidate you or somebody you know is being intimidated, threatened, or bothered. Could be because they caught a case. They're feeling rejected. feeling rejected so they want to intimidate you because they feel like you're not talking to them you're not giving them any love because you're out here busy winning and being unbothered they don't like that we have unfazed you are unfazed unbothered and too busy winning I love it keep doing you because you are a queen rising, stepping into your power, ascending, coming into your awakening. What else? We have looking you up. So I said, I think I said it before, somebody stalking you online, looking at where you're going, who you with. They're looking you up, researching you, studying, want to get info on you. They want to know who you are more of who you are if they're looking you up how much time we got so we have dirty offer someone could be traveling to you to make a dirty offer and if they got this then that offer is definitely dirty stay woke people Bad karma. So, so someone's receiving bad karma for the things that they've done in the past and in the present. You may or may not know that. They may or may not want you to know. But they are definitely going through some karma. Let's get a few more out and we call it a, call it a read. Girl fight. So there's a female out there who wants to fight another female in the collective. She's at war competing with you. And obviously, you don't know this because you're unbothered, unfazed, and too busy winning. Maybe that's why she wants to fight you because you're winning. Make that make sense. There's a lot of nonsense in this read, in the T. We have, they're in their head. So someone's in their head about... This it could be this feminine energy that wants to uh, fight you, collective. Overthinking and stressing and analyzing about you winning, about you being unfazed, about you being unbothered. They're stressed about it. They want to fight. They could be stressed and in their head because they're receiving bad karma. All right, last two, last two. Then I will call it a read. Played out. So they're feeling played out. Maybe they're yesterday's news. 
Maybe that's why they want to fight you because they don't have enough drama in their lives or life. And nobody's paying attention to them. They're feeling played out, feeling ignored. And what? Rejected. So they want to come fight you. They want to come fight you, collective. All right, last message, last message. Love triangle. So this could be about someone you were involved with. That person's person wants to fight you. They're in their head because they're feeling rejected and played out. Could be the person you were involved with caught something from their third party, their triangle. says multiple lovers and choices. That's probably how they got this. That could be their karma for treating you bad or badly. But I'm gonna leave that there and give you the angel message. So we have nine, three, and six. Angel number 936 is help another. This is kind of uh, similar to this morning's message. Check that out, by the way. Your struggles today allow you to heal others tomorrow. The work you have done, the struggles you have overcome, is not for nothing. Struggle exists so you can assist others in their own similar challenges. You are being called to consider how to practice light work. Light work is spiritual work in service to others. Journal about how you could uniquely help people who are at different stages of their life that you left behind. And so I did say that someone was leaving a family or a community to, to get on their path, to extend. So, you know, when you go through things, um, it's a testimony. People want to hear these things. If you're online or on uh, uh, your social media, your platforms, you know, talk about some of the things, if you're comfortable with that, some of the things that you've overcome, that you've gotten through, and so that you can help others. Because you never know who's uh, looking at your posts. You think nobody's looking at your posts just because they don't hit the like button all the time. If you look at your statistics, your analytics, um, there's more people looking at your page, your posts, your platforms than you think. Just because they don't hit the like button doesn't mean that they're not looking. And if you're open, if your platforms are open to everyone, then you have people all around the world looking at your stuff. So share your story. Um, you never know, it might help someone. So this is your message today, and I thank you for joining me. I hope you hit the like button, the share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.